Looking down on Dawson City in the Yukon. This is the Yukon River. And here you see the ferry boat crossing from top of the World Highway. Coming in and you can see the docks over there for the ferry boat. All it is is a gravel sandbar. Interesting, interesting area to visit. We had a ton of fun coming across on the ferry and exploring Dawson. Just wish we'd had more time to spend there. You can see an old paddle boat up there being restored as, I don't know, they're making it into a restaurant or a motel or something. You can see some of the equipment used to kind of maintain the landing areas. Over to the right you'll see some private boats pulled up on the riverbank. Yukon River stretches way up into Alaska. You can see the ferry, how he's making the turn and dealing with the current as he comes in. Watch him, he'll kind of drift into it. Power sideways, get himself long, locked up there. and Then you start seeing the action. They, people start pulling off. There's the first car going off. Look at the lineup waiting to go on. I don't think they're all going to fit on this run. It doesn't take very long to go across, so it shouldn't be too bad. That long, that motorhome with the big trailer, he might take up half a load though. They're the one at the very back. It's a uh, it was kind of a rainy morning there. Luckily the rain had quit for a bit while I shot this. Motorcycle there coming off the barge, or the ferry. Then it's the people in the left lane's turn to go. Pick up and travel trailer and another rig. There you go, just look at that lineup. Waiting to go on. Oversized vehicles in the left lane, cars and pickups in the right lane. This is the time when you don't want to be that big motorhome in the back. You'll fit, but. There's a number of boats just up on dry dock, just stuffed up there. People work on them. Who knows how long it's been since they've been in the water. Dawson City's an interesting town. We're looking at the road here on the right. The people are exiting on is the only paved road in town. Everything else is dirt or hard packed sand, gravel, and mud. See the colorful building, the orange and yellow? That's the Robert Service School. Definitely brightly painted. This dark blue or purple building with the white trim was interesting here right below us. You can see the storefronts, you know. Dawson City goes back to the 1890s when the gold rush hit that area. It went from nothing to a booming town in a hurry. Trunk house, I don't know what that was. Over where the different colored buildings are on the right is where we stayed. We actually stayed in the long building on this side of the street. It was also the Robert Service. Oh yeah, that was no that was the Jack London building. And they were owned by Princess Cruise Lines. We just happened to manage to book a room in there, reasonably cheap for the night, because they had some vacancies. My son did all the arrangements, and he did a good job of it. We had a good time. Somewhere up this street, we went and had pizza that first night. Looked for movie stars or TV stars, you know, from the Gold Rush program, but we didn't see any. Was half expect Tony Beats to come in with his shirt unbuttoned and his gold hanging down. 
didn't happen. We visited the museum the next morning, and that was a treat. Took the tour. Just so much precious history up there. It's just fun to look down on the street and see the big old mud puddle behind that car. <laughs> I don't think I want to park there. At least not get out on the left side. Could be a little deep. The building on the right is the red, is the downtown hotel. Each one, you know, this is probably a town that goes like mad for about four or five months in the summer and then it shuts down the rest of the year because of the weather and the tourists are gone. Although rumor has it that a lot of tourists come up here just to watch the northern, northern lights. There you can see more mud puddle and water holes and Interesting, the old tin roofs, they're all rusty. This building on the left is interesting. I don't know what it was. Probably a lodging of some sort. And there's the Yukon River, and I could be wrong, but I think it's to the left of us. I should have showed it better, where the Klondike comes in. You can see a few of the private boats there. Stuff floating down the river. Look at the old Yukon Rose. I don't think she's been in the water for a while. 